Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a functional solid conditioner bar. Let me show you how it's made. So this is the product I'm going to be showing you how to make today. As you can see, it's a nice solid bar. And yet, when wet, you get enough product, as you can see from in the water, to spread through the hair and condition the hair effectively. Now, you're not gonna see foam from this product because it's not meant to foam. It is a conditioner bar that you use as a conditioner after shampooing with, say, our shampoo bar. And it gives a beautiful condition feel to the hair and then rinsed off easily. So now, let me show you how it's made. Here is one of the key and important materials. This is the Crodaza Quat MCC. Now this particular material has our cationic emulsifier in it. It has a non-ionic emulsifier and it also has a polyquaternium agent. Now to this, I'm just gonna add some extra non-ionic emulsifier. Now this is a very high HLB material. It helps it set into that bar form but also helps improve the mildness of the finished product. And to this, I'm just going to add some plant oils. You can pick and choose your own. I have some suggestions here like jojoba oil, argan oil, and I've gone with some hemp oil for a real masculine feel to the product because it's a travel product, it's nice and convenient. It fits in with uh, busy men looking after their hair quite easily. And then I've just added uh, a little bit of extract and again that's just to help make the story unique and more your own. I just need to heat and melt this now. Just make sure everything's melted and mixed together well then remove from the heat and add your essential oils and antioxidant well above the setting point. Give them a good stir through and just pour into your mold. It will set into that nice solid block consistency evenly just by pouring molten. Getting the right consistency of the bar so that it's hard enough on storage and transport but still comes away with water easily so you get enough product for a good conditioning finish is easily achieved with the ratio of the cationic and non-ionic materials that I used in this formula. So don't alter them too much if you want to get the same sort of solid consistency and functionality out of your product but you can alter the types of extracts that I put in, the essential oils. You can definitely alter the plant oils. Again, the amount of used helps with the bar consistency, also helps with the functionality and performance of the product so that the hair doesn't feel neither too greasy nor too dry after wash off. So keep the amounts about the same, but you can definitely alter the oils I've used to make the product more unique to your brand. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.